In this video, we're gonna talk all about LinkedIn for real estate agents. Hey everybody, Katie Lance here, founder and CEO of Katie Lance Consulting, the Get Social Smart Academy, and author of the book, Get Social Smart. And it's episode 202 of the Get Social Smart show. And in this episode, we are gonna talk about a few tips, tools, and strategies for how you can maximize LinkedIn. Now, I know when it comes to LinkedIn, LinkedIn's not as fun as Facebook or Instagram. And for a lot of folks, LinkedIn has kind of become the set it and forget it network, where you set it up at one point and maybe you haven't done a whole lot with it since. But LinkedIn is a really important place in your social media strategy. When you get Googled, LinkedIn is one of the first things that come up. So I'm gonna share with you three of my favorite tools and tips to maximize your LinkedIn strategy. Number one, optimize your profile. It's really important that when we come to your LinkedIn profile that it is up to date. So you wanna have an up to date photo. There's nothing worse than meeting someone for the first time and their reaction is, oh, you look nothing like your picture. So have an updated photo, not just on LinkedIn, but all of your social media profiles. You also wanna make sure you have your contact information there. Don't be a secret agent. This is also the opportunity to update your skills, your expertise. You don't wanna just list the fact that you're an agent or a broker, but you wanna, you know, brag about yourself a little bit. Maybe you've got some designations, your expertise, why do you love what you do, what cities do you serve, and really optimize that profile. That's a small thing that makes a big difference. Number two, maximize recommendations. Now I know in the world of real estate there are a lot of places that you can get recommended, but I love LinkedIn recommendations because it's a business platform, not necessarily just real estate. So one of the best ways to receive recommendations is to give recommendations. In fact, one of the things we recommend in our Get Social Smart Academy is set a date on your calendar once a month or so where you go onto LinkedIn and you think to yourself, who have you worked with in the last 30 days? Who have you worked with in the last 30 days? Could be another agent, could be a, uh, a client, could be your stager, your lender, lots of different people. Go on and leave them a recommendation. Uh, write two or three sentences about your experience. And I can almost guarantee you when you do that, nine times out of 10, their response is going to be something like, oh my gosh, I didn't expect that, thank you so much. And so often they will leave that in return. Those recommendations, those are social proof. And again, small thing that can make a big difference when it comes to LinkedIn. Tip number three, utilize the blog feature. Did you know you can blog over on LinkedIn? Even if you're not a writer, blogging over on LinkedIn is a great way to really build your exposure and build your engagement on LinkedIn. Now, I know that within LinkedIn, there are lots of different things that you could use, but the way you use the LinkedIn blog is really unique. When you go onto LinkedIn, you'll see your, your news feed, which by the way, is not as busy or noisy as Facebook or Instagram, but you'll see your news feed. And at the top of that news feed, you'll also see a little button that says write an article. Now, this is not necessarily the place where you're gonna blog about your listings, but this is a great opportunity for you to share some content and some information in your own voice. So it might be things like the top 10 things things I've learned in real estate for, from being in real estate the past 10 years. Or if I had to do it all over again, this is what I would do. Or the top five questions every new homeowner always asks me. So when we think about content, again, thinking about perhaps questions you get all asked all the time, uh, you might even think about topics that come up in conversation. When you create blog content on LinkedIn, it's free, by the way, to do this. Uh, that blog post stays on LinkedIn. It also stays on your LinkedIn profile. And then you can actually share that link out to your email newsletter or any other social media platform. So those three things definitely make a big difference. And I would love to hear from you. Are you active on LinkedIn? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments below. In fact, if we're not yet connected on LinkedIn, drop your LinkedIn handle below. I would love to connect with you over there and keep in touch uh, and connect with you over on that LinkedIn platform. Now, if you're watching this over on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell button because we have new uh, videos that come out each and every week. You don't want to miss out. And for more tips, tools, and strategies, please follow us over at katielance.com. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.